Hey guys, this is Matt Core from controlpaint.com. And today I'm gonna to talk about a different way to do photographic overlays using photo textures. In the past, we've talked about blending modes. And for instance, I would have this overlay rust and I want it to sort of blend with the base layer here. And to do so, I would maybe change this to a multiply. Now this is great for certain things, but you might notice that this is an overall effect. But what if all I wanted was the rust, or maybe just the paint around the rust? But I don't actually want to do any hand masking. I just want a single effect that will automatically know how to isolate the rust and get rid of everything else. So I'm going to double click on the layers thumbnail here, opening up the blending options. Now you'll notice the blend mode is normal, just like any default layer you make, and the opacity is 100%. Down here at the bottom of the window, it says blend if gray. And then below it, there are two different sliders. So here, if I just want the rust, I know that the rust is a dark value. It is on the left half of the slider. And then the gray paint between the rust is a light value. So I can say blend if gray, and then remove some of these higher values. And now as you see, the higher values are starting to disappear. And all I'm left with are the low end of the value scale, the rust. I could do the opposite. I could leave the high values and remove the low values. So now I have removed the rust and all I have left is the gray paint in between. Now you've noticed the blending mode is still normal. The opacity of the entire layer is still 100%. What this is deciding to do is say, if the maximum is 100% opacity, Let's selectively make the rest 0% opacity. But as you can see, there's sort of a harsh edge where it stops being 100% and goes to zero. Well, luckily, I can actually smooth that out a bit. So when I click on this black arrow here and hold the Alt key, I can separate it into two arrows. And what this does now is it gives me a bit of a fall off between that blending. So it sort of smooths out that hard edge. Great. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to my goal of isolating the rust. I know I wanna remove some of the higher values, but I wanna have a more subtle edge. And so I'm going to play with these arrows until it looks just about right. Okay, I'm happy with that. And anytime I can hit okay, this is not a destructive effect. I've not removed or erased any of the layer. It's all still there. It's just a matter of these arrows hiding or revealing based on the value. But now I notice there's a few problems with this. The rust is looking great until it hits these dark areas. Because these dark shadows that are gaps in between the panels would not have any rust. That sort of breaks the illusion. Well, luckily there's a way that I can actually continue to remove the rust based on the lower image's value. That is the second slider down here. Well, this works exactly the same way. Where do I want to remove the opacity? What do I want to hide? Well, I want to hide it where these dark shadows are. So that means I'm going to be changing this lower arrow. So as I move this lower arrow up, you see I'm hiding the rust. And if I were to move it all the way, it would hide everything. So I want to move it back to where there is no rust over the shadows. And maybe to get the effect a little more subtle, I'll break those arrows apart a bit and soften it out. So I'm gonna confirm this now, and we're gonna look real close and see how this looks. So this is good. You can see the rust is isolated from the original gray paint, but the rust does not go over these black panel gaps. Here's another great example. You can see the rust going right up to the edge of that panel gap and then disappearing. Here, I'll hide the overlay to show you the difference. There's the original. Here's with the rust over top. So there's absolutely still call for using the blending modes to do photo overlays. In fact, that's the way I normally do it. But if really all you want is part of the overlay, just the rust or just a painted number or an image, well then blend if might be the only way to really isolate that without any extra hard work. So I encourage you to go online and download some texture photos and just give this a try. So once you get comfy with the idea, using it in your own paintings would be a breeze. 
Thanks for coming to the site, guys.